Yo, welcome viewers. After a long time without a video, I am back to share with you a crazy race from round 9 of the Nations Cup here at Alsace Village in the Group 4 Audi. So on pole position is Ballistic Ben. I am starting from 12th and today's race is a standing start. Tire strategy for the race is hard as required, so a no stop is possible, but it's a little bit slower, so I'm planning to go a few laps before switching over to the mediums. TC on for the start, and we are underway. It's a great launch, 0 0.0370 reaction time, and we pick up a few positions already as we come down to the approach of turn one. Super aggressive, lovely unicorn, lovely unicorn leaves the... Um, the inside of the corner that open so we take that and we are already up into ninth as you see joke and they're just running a little bit wide on corner exit so another driver who got a rapid start was hyperdrift and we're right on board with him as he also makes up positions off the start and um this is where he should have ducked inside and followed me through up the inside uh but instead he stays out wide and just gets absolutely murdered there by high stakes and uh this is just going to drop him all the way back down to 19th place behind iRacer who he was actually avoiding at the start. Uh, so back live on board with me now and you can see Jokin and Iron Mask uh, just battling side by side as we come into this first big breaking zone. Uh, I think of turn four or turn three and uh, Iron Mask gets it sideways there. That actually is very easy to do on the, on the opening lap of cold tires if you have um, the hards on. Uh, so we just tuck in nicely behind them, already up three positions, and feeling pretty good about the start of the race so far. So we're going to speed it up now and come through later into the lap and uh, into the hairpin. Um, there's a little bit of a concertina effect, and we do manage to sneak on past Iron Mask there. And we have Jokin on our inside, and we're just going to have to back out of that. We don't want to go side by side through there and just end up on the grass on the exit. Uh, so as we come up the hill, I think uh, Jokin just is a little flash of the hazards to say thank you for not trying to battle that too hard. And uh, we'll come down to this chicane and finish up our first lap up four positions off our starting position of 12th place. Uh, jumping ahead to the end of the second lap, Jokin and Nux are battling going downhill into the chicane. Nux moves a cross of a late move under braking, not really what you want to be doing. And uh, this is going to allow me to just sneak past Jokin there on the exit of the last corner. And uh, so we're up in Nux's slipstream now. And um, going into this first corner, I decided to make a late move uh, just so Nux doesn't have a chance to defend it the way he did against Jokin. And we managed to get through. And uh, now I'm going to stay over onto the left hand side just to give the Jokin the uh, slipstream. And I think he acknowledges that with a little flash of the lights there. And uh, in fact, now just returns the favor by giving me the bump draft to help us stay ahead of Nux. Uh, so a little bit of teamwork there between me and Jokin after uh, we had quite a bit of fighting actually in the first slot of this race and I was uh, even cussing him out on Jester's live stream so I, I do feel bad about that and um, I did apologize to Jokin after the race and so cutting ahead here to the end of the third lap and you see Jokin there just gets onto the dirt under braking and he comes together with Nux again so Nux gets back past and a uh, bit of a uh, messy start to the race for Jokin uh, but that allows us to uh, pull away a little bit from those two and because of that I decide not to pit there at the end of lap three I'm gonna go on to um, lap four uh, Because we are just there hanging on to the slipstream of John ahead of us and John ducks in the pits And I decide to go with him so that when we come out of this pit stop Hopefully we'll be able to just go with him and stay in his slipstream and, and use him as a way to pull us up through the field But unfortunately as you see there we come out of the pits and DP Mario has just slotted in there between us. He hasn't stopped yet. I think he's um, running the hard tire at the moment. And uh, so I do give him a little bit of a flash there just to uh, kind of let him know that my intentions is to try and get past as quickly as possible because I don't want to lose time 
And uh, that's really important. The first race that I did, I just lost so much time in traffic uh, coming out of these situations. So as you see, uh, I'm having to um, you know, take a tighter line through there to avoid him on exit. And uh, again, as we come through the chicane, I'm just backing off a lot. And uh, we swing out wide. And to DP Mario's credit, he doesn't fight the move. He kind of lets us through when we're able to slot back onto the racing line and take the position. But we did lose probably about a second and a half, I think it was, to John. And that was uh, any chance of staying in this slipstream are now over because John is a very quick driver. And uh, at this stage of the race, I was most concerned about just conserving these medium tires, trying trying to basically, you, you drive a little bit slower in the beginning of the stint so that you just have a huge pace advantage later on in the race. And so we'll skip up ahead now to the beginning of the sixth lap and you see that John just gets past, uh, oh, it was this, yeah, so there's the blimp doing a little bit of drifting there. Uh, so John gets past the weapon uh, quite quickly. And um, you see the weapon, he's been flashing his headlights, but I think he's just on a controller and that tends to happen. Uh, so we get a lot of speed coming there through the kink and I actually yeah, just bump into the back of him just because he is on the harder tire and struggling and we're on fresh mediums, obviously. So we're gonna go for this move up the inside. He doesn't fight it, he knows that uh, he's not in a race with us at the moment and uh, we get through, but yeah, once again, we have lost a little bit of time there to John. So we've fallen back to about two to three seconds behind. And uh, once again, we are going to skip up ahead to the 7th lap and Ballistic Ben just came into the pit. So he was running third place and we have managed to jump in. So um, on balance, we're doing pretty good. We're currently sitting in sixth place as we now skip to the 7th lap and Nux has caught us and this actually causes me to go deep because I was a little bit concerned in him running up behind me. Um, but we have the inside line for this left hand kink uphill, so we managed to stay ahead. And uh, this is kind of what I was talking about. At the early, in the early part of the stint, I am a little bit slower than what other people have been going. You see, John has pulled a, pulled a, away, you know, quite significantly. As um, stylish Fox from second place goes into the pits, so he's been running on the mediums. He'll come out on the hards. Hopefully, we can jump him as well, like we jumped Ben, and that will save us having to get through in the traffic. But no, you see him; he just comes out there. Uh, so he's currently in fifth as Nux sneaks up the inside of us. Well, fair play to Nux. Uh, we did do that to him earlier in the race and actually I didn't mind this because basically at this point I am going to now just stick in his slipstream and he will use his tires and I will not. I'm going to be able to brake a little bit gentler, accelerate a little bit more, you know, cautiously and almost use his tires to gain speed where I get to preserve my own. And this is really going to be something that could come back to help us at the end of the race. So we've skipped to lap 9 now and uh, we've caught up to Disco Stew who hasn't pitted and is on very worn mediums. And uh, as we come through this right hand kink, you see Nux gets a very good exit compared to him and he managed to get through. So it's very, very important that I get this move done as quickly as possible, especially now Jokin has caught up. So as we approach this left hander, I take the tighter line, counting on my better tires, you know, being able to win the traction fight on the way down to the bank's corner. And so we managed to make the move stick. We're still in the slipstream there with Nux and Jokin has followed us through as well with uh, Ballistic Ben there lurking in the background on his fresh hard tires uh, following Nux down towards the hairpin uh, careful to just make sure that we break a little bit early because um, we had a good toe and you see Joke in there in the mirror he actually runs quite deep uh, but he still manages to get a really good exit uh, which surprised me at the time and um, you're gonna see here that I just uh, take a little bit too much curb and, and end up uh, having a wheel on the dirt there as we climb up the hill and this gives Joke a good run on me uh, but I think he, he realizes that if he makes a move, it's just going to cost us too much time. So he, he smartly backs out of it. And um, as we come through here to exit uh, the last corner, I noticed that Nux is just really starting to struggle in the traction zone. So we'll just check the tire difference here down the bottom left corner. And uh, yeah, you see that his tire wear is uh, much worse than mine. 
and I'm just going to go for this move here at turn 1 again, and uh, we managed to sneak there up the inside, and <laughs> almost like a repeat of, what was it, lap 2, we're going to have Joken then following me up the hill, and uh, this time he's not able to quite get close. Well, oh yeah, he gives us a little bit of a pop there. But now, as we're coming down into turn three, it's three abreast with uh, Ben actually there, making move on Joken and getting through up into seventh. And uh, we battle there with Nux all the way through these corners. It's really exciting racing. We're now up into fifth place as we come around this left-hander. Um, you know, this is a corner where your tires, if they're better, you do start to get that little bit of an advantage. And so we manage to just keep hold of the position. Um, I take a little bit too much curve there on that right hander, uh, which now puts Nux in a good position to potentially have a move coming down into this left hander. And he does have a little bit of a look, but I make sure that I break a little bit later there and do still manage to make the apex. And then I'm just able to power away uh, you can see the gap just, you know, that's forming behind me already because I just have much better tyres now here at the end of the stint thanks to that tyre preservation uh, earlier in the stint. And so Stylish Fox is just up there in fourth place. Uh, so we've gone from 12th to 5th, that's 7 places gained in these 10 laps. And actually Stylish Fox in qualifying uh <clears throat> had a little bit of a bone to pick with him so getting this position is going to be satisfactory revenge if i can manage to do it because yeah he did dive me in qualifying and uh, stole my slipstream in slot one uh so we come here i have a little look up the inside uh think better of it and i just know i'm going to get better better drive off this corner he is on the hard tires we're on the mediums uh, he doesn't try and defend the inside, and we are able to make actually quite an easy pass in the end. And um, that is now uh, Ebolk up ahead of us in third place, and Ebolk had great pace in our practice races. So I wasn't sure if I'm going to be able to catch him. We're about two seconds behind, but we're going to speed it up as we come through onto this final lap. We see that we are getting closer and closer and closer, and then as we come up to this right-hand kink, this is where the you know the medium tires versus the no stopping cars we just have so much advantage i think he's going to give me the space here but actually he decides to defend the inside so we're going to have to try the cut back uh, but it turns out i just have so much more pace through that corner and i do give him a little bit of a bump there which i you know i felt bad about would like to get past a little bit more cleanly uh, but we do make the move stick and uh, as we come through the bank corner stylish fox has the fresher hards and so he's able to sneak through as well actually really good lap here from stylish fox to hold on to um hold on to us while he's on the hard tires and i'm on the mediums um so hats off to him he, he did have good speed in this race it turns out uh but yeah we come through the hairpin for the last time managed to not get pump punted there in the back so just two more corners three more corners we have this uh left hander up the hill climbing now as we crest over and now have the downhill run to the chicane very very easy to break too late here on the worn tires and uh, go to dupe but we do manage to get it there onto the apex nice and careful down to second gear just for that little bit extra insurance and we power out and come through to finish on the podium from 12th place wow what a crazy result and a crazy race uh, as you can see, this is why I wanted to make a video on this race. It was just, you know, action-packed throughout the whole thing. And, um, yeah, very, very stoked with the result. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like this video and you don't already subscribe to the channel, it would be great if you could. Uh, press the like button and uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any feedback or just, you know, want to ask some questions about the race. I would, you know, love to hear from you. So, until next time, peace out.